hello everyone welcome back to the channel so today we are going to show you how you can use socket.io but not with express it's actually with bun and huno so if you go here if you search bun huno so we are going to use this actually so uh, okay so ban huno and socket.io how we can use socket.io inside this so we have seen a lot of tutorials with uh, express but i have not found uh, with ban and in a project i have to use that so i found a way to do this but not in a very straightforward way socket.io cannot be used in ban in a very simpler way there are things that get problematic with this uh, so let's start and get to a, see what we have done actually so as you can see i have created a simple interface where it says socket.io example and uh, let's start our server so ban run dev if you using ban you know this way you can run the servers so as you can run the server you can see there is a start server and the chat server is running on 4000 so bun was not letting me to start on 3000 and it was not actually doing uh, the things on 3000 as you can understand that when you are using express with socket.io the server gets start with the socket.io functionality but when we are trying to do it with bun bun was not letting that happen so what i come up with the solution is that so i have to do it uh, anyways means i mean you have to give people uh, with this so what i've started i have thinking of that why should be cannot run socket.io in a different port and the application in different port and both can communicate so the socket.io is working with the bun itself so this is going to be very interesting and very the way i have cracked it out if you have better ideas you can always comment that on the uh, on the video but this is what i can i have come out with a solution so uh, 3000 is running my huno and bun and 4000 is actually running the chat sub application so now coming to this if i go and select this so i like to say hello on this one and once i say hello it return me the server session id and a unique identifier with that so if i get this server session id okay once i get this server session id i put it here i put the message this is from admin ui or api or another user and the id is 51 so there is a unique identifier for that person and if i send this request i get a message sent to the socket if you go you can see that message that means bun is actually sending that message to socket.io and socket.io is receiving that message through the apis this this api that i have created in the postman is actually going to be an interface in the actual uh, development the ui would be there and people will be writing message on this and this socket would be saved in to the database where from where i can fetch it out and these ids can be fetched out and then that message can be sent to that person now if i what happen if i open this url into a different browser let's say so another user comes in and the admin had to talk with that another user then another user also says hello hello it gives return a different session id and a different id so if i go into this if i go into this and put that id onto this and 51 and say 51 and say dash 2 and I come up with here okay I do not get that message 
just give me one more time okay this is what I get put it there and oh sorry I was copying the old one 172 172 and I send that message if I go you can see I am in the incognito mode and this is for the user too but this message does not comes to this person so there is a two different section different angles two different person are chatting to a single person who is the admin of the account and these two people are actually chatting with him so in the real world scenario the thing would be this interface would be on the left hand side the user's names will be coming and when you click on that user name you will connect it with this account with this socket and with this number and then you can write the message and the whole message would be coming in. and this message will also be coming out to that person so uh, now we have we have seen what we have done let's dive into the code so this is very simple actually i have just created a, a banhuno server that is running a framework that is running and one html file that is the interface that is here that that can be shown over here now that interface has a random number so that i can generate random numbers and the message is with that random number over here and once you press that i am sending i am emitting to the message with message and i i means the random number in the localhost 4000 so pretty much standard with express also pretty much standard because if you go into this socket.io if you go into this section this is pretty much standard the same thing is happening over here with the html serving the html and all those stuff right what is done on the next hand in the index.ts file there are quite a few of things going actually so first i connected my mongodb this is connection this does not required for this example but i have created that connection so if people wanted to pay, play with this code they can also save this into the mongodb and use that so first i created the connection the socket.io i can always use or uh, emit the message for right from here actually but what i have done is on the root i have served the url that is serving the html over here on this section now coming to the below part where i send the message i'm actually taking three parameters the id the message the socket id i am getting the client dot body dot socket id this client is actually a global object that global object is actually when you are sending the first message the global object is taking the ids and putting it inside the array with the id the client socket id main and the socket is exactly getting stored into that session now if you want you can store this into the database you can want if you want you can store this in, in numerous way i have just created an object and stored that for the simplest purpose right now once you send that message and i got that socket id i found out the client.body.socket id where it is coming from I emit the message with the body ID and send that message to that person. So the same thing is happening in this tutorial as well. All I have differentiate is that both are running in a different port and still they are working. So if you imagine this application is actually running in 3000 and that application will be running at 4000. So that was the trick uh, to create this uh, beautiful example for this. So I think uh, this is pretty much really helpful if you are doing socket.io with bun and Huno. And I hope this uh, tutorial would be helpful for you. 
if you do like my videos subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video i would be sharing all the codes on the description thank you so much